Okay, I have a fun story to tell you. But first, fuck you guys. Stop making fun of me, oh my god. I'm fucking making you an album. I will not put it out if you keep making fun of my hair. Shut up! <laughs> I'm changing it after the doc comes out. It'll be the end of an era. I'm gonna give you a new era. I have announcements to make. I got some shit to put out. Anyway, doesn't matter. Leave me alone. Let me live with my fucking hair that I've had for way too long. Okay? Shut the fuck up. Story time. Okay. So. My dog, Shark, right? <laughs> Last week, he's throwing up all over the house. And he's throwing up like three times in the bathroom, three times in my room, three times in the dining room, a couple times in the living room, two times in the kitchen, a couple times in the yard. Not good. Not a good thing. But we're like, what the fuck did this dude eat? Because he eats crazy shit. Anything on the ground, he'll just eat it. Doesn't matter what it is. He's a fucking dog. It's what they do. But usually what happens is he'll eat something weird and he'll throw it right up and he'll be totally fine and move on with his day. He's done this before. So, and we've taken him to the vet before and they're like, usually like, oh, he'll be fine. I'll pass it. We're like, well, this is excessive. We watch him we're like see if he feels any better if he gets anything out nothing changes it's not looking good so we go <laughs> but he's a pit bull he's indestructible they're indestructible they eat everything and they are fine it's fucking insane we take him to the vet make sure he's okay we're assuming they're just gonna be like ah it's fine just like every other fucking time he's done this he's done it all so many times we take him to the vet we're like ready for them to be like ah he's good go home and they do some x-rays on him you know the the usual and okay so they do a couple x-rays and they're like so we see that there's something stuck in his intestines and we don't know what it is but you know clearly it's bothering him and it it's stuck and whatever so they're like we're gonna give him something that hopefully will make him pass it or whatever and if it doesn't if it hasn't moved by tomorrow we're gonna maybe have to do some surgery and we're like okay makes sense so they're like we're gonna keep him overnight poor poor little quarantine dog has not been away from me for any amount of time <laughs> it's always with me anyway um we're like okay spend the night there we'll see you in the morning they're like i'm sure he'll be fine we're like oh, yeah he's fucking whatever we'll be good so the next day is my birthday right and they call me and they're like okay so it hasn't moved and it's actually gotten worse so we're gonna have to do some surgery on him to get it out and i was like okay you know not great news but also they were like it's a common procedure it'll be fine he'll be okay you know i talked to some of the doctors on the phone i facetimed him because i can't visit him because of covid anyway they're like he'll it'll go great whatever be really quick so they're like we'll call you when the surgery is done we'll let you know how it goes we wait a couple hours and she calls and she's like, the surgery went amazing. Shark is doing so well. We all love him so much. He's so sweet. Da, da, da. We got we got the thing out of him. Da, da, da. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, so what did you get out of him? Like, what was in there? And she's like, oh, it was a toy. And I'm like, okay, what was it? And she's like, it's an octopus toy. And my dad and I are standing there on the phone. I'm like, interesting. Could you send a picture? You ready for this shit? This is what they pulled out of his... In they cut open his intestine and pulled this out. Okay? <laughs> he swallowed it all! Money got long. You know the weirdest part about this shit? I've never fucking seen that toy in my life. I've never seen it in my life. I asked my brother because his dog and my dog play all the time. He's never seen it in his life. I asked my fucking friend Laura because her dog and my dog play all the time. She's never fucking seen it in her life. Nobody has seen that fucking toy. Whose toy is it? I've never seen it. He had to be there for four days. This dumb ass dog <laughs> ate a stuffed animal whole. Swallowed it. Didn't even eat it. Swallowed it. 
and I've never seen it. The only possible explanation is because we t- I take him to the dog park all the time. He must have must have just been there, and he picked it up. Some other dog probably wanted it, and he just swallowed it. As like a defense mechanism or some shit. I don't fucking know. Idiot fucking dog. <laughs> I picked him up yesterday, and he, as soon as he saw me, he started squealing, and then he squealed all the way home. And every time he looked up at me, he'd squeal out. It was very cute, because he definitely thought that uh, it, I was never gonna see him again. Like he probably thought I was just fully abandoning him. But let me fucking tell you what his recovery process has to be, okay? So. He has to be given a medicine every eight hours and then another medicine at six every day. Um, And I think there's another one in there somewhere. I have to put a cold pack on his wound for five to ten minutes, three times a day for two days. And then for five days, I have to put a hot pack on his wound for five to ten minutes, three times a day. Um, He has to wear a cone for two weeks and he can't run or jump for two weeks. Try telling a ten month old fucking pit bull that he can't run or jump. For two weeks. All of that shit is normal. I, it's, I'm not surprised by any of it. For any dog that has to go through some sort of surgery, some sort of procedure, for anything like the, bad that happens, anything. The fact that it could have been fucking avoided if he hadn't fucking swallowed a fucking stuffed animal whole. He's such a fucking idiot. <laughs> but I love him. But he's such a fucking idiot. He's so fucking stupid. But I fucking love him. I love him so much. But he's such a fucking idiot. For whatever reason, he's giving you a hard time with his energy at home. It's very common to answer to the size of sedatives on top of uh, the medications you have. Um,